Hi all. Thanks so much for joining tonight's Vinyasa Flow class. Uh, I'm Natalie. Uh, really nice to have you here tonight. Um, tonight's class will be 60 minutes. Um, I will teach without any props, but if you have any yoga blocks or a strap, you can always use a dictionary um, or um, a belt or elastic band in place. Uh, feel free to have them nearby or to use them as you wish. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started lying down. Let's start in reclined butterfly, bringing the soles of the feet to touch and the arms either in goal post or by your side. And reclined butterfly, see if you can let the feet kind of splay open, releasing the knees, opening the hips. And as you make the transition from your day to your mat, just noticing how your body feels. Is there any tension or tightness? Maybe you feel loose and relaxed. And starting to send your attention and your focus to your breath. And taking nice long inhales and equally as long exhales. And as you inhale, feeling the belly, the ribs, and the chest expand. And as you exhale, see if you can release the entire backside body a little bit deeper onto your mat. Noticing any thoughts that are coming to your mind and acknowledging these thoughts is valid and see if you can let them go. And just knowing that you can return to them after practice. And let's take another full inhale and exhale. And gently releasing your arms by your side, drawing your knees together and hugging your knees into your chest and giving yourself a tight squeeze. And let's take three sacrum circles in each direction, really releasing the lower back. And so three circles clockwise. And three circles counterclockwise. And then drawing the knees back into the chest, recline figure four, crossing your left ankle over your right thigh, hands interlaced behind your right hamstring, and flexing both feet, trying to draw the right knee towards the body, and the left knee gently moves away. And shoulder blades are relaxed down on the mat. And taking another inhale and exhale. And gently switching sides, right ankle over your left thigh, and hands interlaced behind the left hamstring. Again, make sure you're flexing both feet. And let's take another full round of breath, and gently releasing the right ankle from your left, hugging the knees into your chest. Hands come to the hamstrings, and just take a few gentle rocks up and down the entire length of the spine, releasing the lower back, middle back, and upper back. And let's rock one more time. And then when you rock up, pause in boat for a moment, using your hip flexors to hug your knees into your chest, interlacing your hands, taking steeple grip with the index fingers touching, inhale, arms rise, exhale, rotate to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left, so getting the core activated early on. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. One more each side. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a tight squeeze. And coming to meet in a comfortable seated posture, and bringing your fingers out to about nine o'clock and three o'clock. The more you press into your fingertips, the more you'll feel a sensation through the traps, through the back of your neck. And so tuck your chin to your chest, doming your back, really pressing your fingertips down. 
getting a nice deep stretch. Let's take another inhale and exhale, gently lifting your chin back up, bringing the hands to the back of the head, pressing the elbows back, let your head release back into your hands, opening up through your chest, through your throat. And taking another inhale and exhale, and then gently releasing the arms down, rolling over your ankles and finding yourself in tabletop. Knees are directly under hips, wrists directly under shoulders. Nice neutral spine. We'll move through five rounds of cow-cat. On your inhale, chest drops, gaze lifts. Exhale, chin to chest, doming your back. Inhale, cow, shoulder blades draw together. Exhale to cat. And if there are any other gentle movements that would feel good in your body, you're welcome to take them. As you inhale to cow, exhale to cat, two more rounds. Inhaling and exhaling, one more. Going for a range of movement of the spine, right? Inhale to cow, spinal extension. Exhale, chin to chest, doming the back, spinal flexion. And then coming back to your neutral spine, big toes touch, knees mats with distance, coming into your wide-legged child's pose, hips to your heels, and walking your hands forward. And really send the weight back into your hips, pressing to the palms of your hands if you'd like to get a nice stretch through the tops of the shoulders, lifting the elbows off the mat, and really let your chest drop through your shoulders. Let's take another inhale and exhale. And as you inhale, lift all 10 toes off the mat or tuck all 10 toes under and exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. And so taking any movement that feels good in your body, maybe pedaling your feet, maybe lifting your heels. And keep drawing your chest back towards your thighs. Just taking a few rounds of breath to settle into your first down dog. And feet are hips width distance, chest is drawing back and pressing into every single finger mound. And let's take another inhale and exhale. On the inhale, gaze forward and then on the exhale, walk your feet to meet your hands. Maybe you tend up to the fingertips to give your hamstring space. And once you get to the top, inhale, halfway lift, hands come to the shins, shift the weight forward into the toes, nice straight spine. Option to stay here, or if you can work deeper into the hamstrings with straight spine and a straight hamstrings, draw your hands down towards your ankles, keep the gaze lifted, keep the tailbone lifted. Let's take another inhale. And exhale, release the ankles, heel toe the feet slightly wider than hips with distance, deep bend in the knees coming into ragdoll, catching opposite elbows. And using the weight of your head and your elbows to keep shifting forward and down. And let's take another inhale and exhale, and gently releasing the elbows, heel to your feet back to hips with distance. Nice deep bend in the knees, chin to the chest, doming your back, slowly roll up. And taking your time and finding yourself standing in Tadasana at the top of your mat. And you're welcome to close your eyes or lower your gaze for the next three rounds of breath. Inhale, arms rise. And exhale, hands in the heart. Two more, just like that. Inhale, arms rise. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale. And exhale, hands pause at heart center. And I'm taking this moment to set your intention for practice and something to return to throughout class. And maybe something to take off the mat into the week with you. And gently fluttering the eyes open if they've closed. 
And coming to the top of your mat if you're not yet there. Inhale, arms rise, hug your ribs in. Exhale, hinging at your hips to fold forward. On the inhale, big step back with the right foot. Exhale, press into the palm of the right hand. Left arm feels open for your twist. And shoulder blades are drawing together behind your back. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, rise up for your revolved high lunge. Gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale, arms rise, high lunge. Exhale, reach the hands behind your back, leaning forward with a straight spine. Try to press the palms towards each other. Maybe you sink a little bit lower into your left knee. Let's take another inhale. Exhale, frame the left foot. Press into the palms, create space, dome the back. Silently step the left foot back to meet your right for plank. And always the option to lower the knees. Otherwise, hips and shoulders are in a nice straight line. Flexing your heels. Maybe you shift your shoulders slightly forward of your wrists. For five, four, three, two, and one. Let's all lower to the knees. Untuck the toes. Elbows point back as you slowly lower all the way down. And pressing all ten toes onto your mat. Inhale, chest and gaze left, baby cobra. Keep the palms down for all three. Exhale, lower two more just like that. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press back to your wide-legged child's pose. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Hips to the ceiling. And from here on the inhale, lift the right leg. See if you can keep your hips squared. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Two more like that. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, knee to nose, pause, and take these little pendulum swings. So you're really just opening and closing your right hip. Let's take one more. And then hugging the right knee back into your chest, place the right foot between your hands as you inhale. Exhale, left foot meets the right. Forward fold. Straight leg, straight spine, reverse swan dive to rise up. Inhale, arms rise, gaze lifts. Exhale, hands to heart center. Picking it right back up on the second side. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hinge and fold. On the inhale, big step back with the left foot this time. Then exhale, press into the palm of the left hand. Right arm peels open for your twist. And so your inner thighs, your adductors are really active, drawing together, helping with balance. As you sort of press into the palm of the left hand, rising up for your revolved high lunge. And gaze is over your right shoulder. Inhale, arms rise, high lunge. Exhale, reach the arms behind your back. Palms draw together, chest is leaning forward. Nice deep bend in your right knee. Maybe you sink a little bit lower. Let's take another inhale. Exhale, hands frame your right foot. Dome the back. Inhale, right foot steps back to meet your left. And then exhale, lower to your forearms. Setting up for forearm plank. Really pressing the forearms into the mat. Hips and shoulders are in a nice straight line. Really pressing the mat away and holding here for five, four, three, tucking the lower back under, two, and one. Gently lower the knees. Untuck the toes and lower your hips and finding yourself in Sphinx. And then again, see if you can get your big toes to touch behind the back and press all 10 toes onto the mat, drawing your elbows back towards your heels, chest draws forward. And shoulder blades keep drawing together, chest is drawing through the shoulders. Let's take another inhale and exhale. Option to stay here or turn your hands out to 10 o'clock and one or 11 o'clock and one o'clock, pressing to the palms and working to seal pose, deeper back bend. And taking another inhale and exhale, gently lowering down. Hands come under the shoulders. Option to press back to your wide legged child's pose or tuck all 10 toes under. Inhale, press right up to plank. 
Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. And keep drawing your chest back towards your thighs. And then on your inhale, lift the left leg and then hug the left knee to your nose. Inhale to lift, exhale, knee to nose. One more, inhale, lift, exhale, knee to nose. Pause here and take those pendulum swings so you're opening and closing through the left hip. And then coming back to center, hug the left knee to your chest. Inhale, left foot comes between your hands. Exhale, right foot meets your left. Coming into your forward fold. And option to take what we've already done or peace fingers, first two fingers catch your big toes. If you have the bind, keep it. Inhale, lift your gaze. Exhale, fold, letting the elbows splay out. And keep shifting the weight forward. And let's take another round of breath. And then gently releasing the bind, take a nice deep bend in your knees, chin to your chest, doming your back, and slowly rolling up. All right, so working to a bunch of different revolved poses today, and waking up the spine a little bit more with this little exercise. So try to keep your hips forward the whole time, reaching your arms out in front, shoulder blades draw back so you're not doming the back, reaching forward. And on the inhale, it's like you're doing the back stroke, the right arm left with the thumb leading. Exhale, release the right arm behind your back, gaze follows, and then press the back of your right hand to the back left corner of the mat. Inhale, the right arm lifts. Exhale, palms touch. Same thing, second side. Inhale, the left arm lifts. Exhale, release it behind your back. Inhale, the left arm lifts. Exhale, palms touch one more each side. Inhale, the right arm lifts. Exhale, release. Inhale, the right arm lifts. Exhale, palms touch. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, release. Inhale, the left arm lifts. Exhale, palms touch. Inhale, lifting both arms, and then exhale, separating them, coming through goal post, elbows drawn into your ribs, chest is lifted. Take an inhale, exhale, interlace your hands behind your back, pressing your fist up, chest draws forward. And let's take another inhale and exhale. Releasing the bind with the hands. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, come right into chair pose. So you're tucking the lower back under. Hands together, and sending the weight back into your heels. Let's take an inhale, exhale, rotate to the right. So you're crossing your right tricep over your left thigh, gazes over your left shoulder. Check in to make sure the right knee isn't jutting forward, that they're in a nice straight line. Let's take another inhale and exhale, and shift the weight into the left foot, really press into that left big toe. Inhale, lift the right knee, hug it in for your heel in for flamingo pose. Let's take an inhale, exhale, big step back. Inhale, rising up to revolved high lunge. Exhale, high lunge. And settling into your high lunge for a moment. Your hips are squared forward. Reaching nice and long through the arms. Take an inhale, lift up and out of the left hip. And then exhale, open to your warrior two. And the right foot is completely parallel to the back edge of the mat. Really active arms. The left knee is tracking over the left pinky toe. Maybe you sink a little bit lower. Inhale, shoulders shrug up to the ears. Exhale, relax them down the back. And let's take another inhale. Exhale, straighten the left leg, bringing the fingers behind your head again. So just pause here for a second, drawing the elbows back, working into the oblique. So we're gonna take an inhale, left elbow reaches for the left knee, keeping the shoulders open. Exhale, lift, four more. Last two. Last full round, 
and really working to the right obliques and coming back up. Inhale, straightening the arms, reaching forward. Exhale, triangle. And just a tiny micro bend in the left knee so you're not locking your joint. Gaze is lifted. Again, shoulder blades are drawing together behind your back. Let's take another inhale and exhale. Bending into your left knee, maybe you plant the left palm, right arm reaches up and over for a variation on side angle. And gaze is to your right wrist. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, hands frame your left foot, come onto the ball of the right foot. And lizard lunge, just pausing here for a moment. The left knee is kind of pressing to your left tricep here. Maybe you shift forward and back, opening up your hip a little bit. Let's take another inhale and exhale, lifting the left foot up and then step it back to meet your right, moving through your vinyasa, right? You can always take any of these prone back bends, like I'm opting to take uh, locust pose instead of going through chaturanga. Maybe I want to go through child's pose to get to down dog. So really make these your own. We'll all be back in downward facing dog. I'm taking five rounds of breath here. I'm just noticing if inhales and exhales are equal in length. If they're not, maybe you pause for an extra round or two of breath. And on the next inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, stepping or floating your feet to your hands, coming into your forward fold. And again, option to take any of the variations we've already done, or this time bringing the palms of your hands under the soles of your feet, and relaxing your head down, getting nice and long through the back of the neck. Whichever variation you're in, keep shifting the weight forward and down. And let's take another inhale and exhale, gently releasing whatever bind you have and coming right into chair pose from here. And so on your inhale, deep bend in the knees, exhale, rise up, chair pose. The weight's back in the heels. Inhale, hands to the heart. Exhale, you're rotating your left tricep over your right thigh this time, knees over the right shoulder. And making sure that left knee isn't jutting forward so your hips are squared. And let's take another round of breath, really shifting the weight into the right foot, flamingo pose, lifting the left, the left heel, hugging it in towards your seat. And then inhale, big step back. And exhale, opening the arms for revolved high lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Really settling in, hips are squared forward. Exhale, maybe you sink down a little bit more. Inhale, lifting up and out of the right hip. Exhale, into your warrior two. And the left foot is parallel with the back edge of the mat. The right knee is tractioning over the pink of, over the pinky toe. This time, just turn the palms face up to relax the shoulders, and then palms go back down. Maybe you sink a little bit lower. Let's take another inhale. Exhale, straighten the right leg, bringing the hands behind your head. Really draw your elbows back. Take an inhale. Exhale, reach the right knee towards or the right elbow towards the right knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, elbow to knee. Three more. Try to keep the shoulders open. Inhale, lift. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, elbow to knee. Last one. Inhale to lift, really using those left obliques. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, straighten the arms. Inhale to reach. Exhale, triangle, micro bend in the right knee. And shoulder blades are drawing together, gaze is lifted. And let's take another round of breath. And then bending into your right knee, maybe you plant the right palm, left arm lifts up and over for side angle. And keep trying to open through the shoulders. And taking another inhale and exhale. And then cartwheeling the left hand down to meet the right, coming onto the ball of the left foot for lizard. 
And so trying to keep the right knee touching the right tricep, really doming the back. Maybe you shift forward and back just a little bit, working to the hip. And then really pressing to the palms, dome the back. See if you can silently step the right foot back to meet your left and make your way through your vinyasa. Inhaling up, exhale, downward facing dog. I'm settling in here again for five rounds of breath. Chest is drawing back towards your thighs. One more full round of breath, and then we'll move through three rounds of rolling wave, really engaging the core again. And so on your inhale, lift all the way up to the tiptoes, doming your back, roll forward to plank. Exhale, release the hips, lifting your gaze. Inhale, press up to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two more like that. Inhale, lift, rolling forward to plank. Exhale, drop the hips. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. One more. Inhale, rolling forward to plank. Exhale, drop the hips. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, this time roll forward to plank. Exhale, gently lower the knees. Untuck your toes and we'll come in to thread the needle. On the inhale, the right arm lifts. Then exhale, bringing the right hand just behind your left wrist, shifting the weight over onto the right shoulder. Maybe you walk the left hand out and the right cheek is resting on the mat. I'm just taking a few rounds of breath here. And let's take another inhale and exhale. And bringing the left hand back under the left shoulder if it's shifted. Inhale, the right arm lifts. And then exhale, come to table. Second side, pressing to the palm of the right hand. Inhale, the left arm lifts. Exhale, threading the needle. Maybe you keep your right hand where it is. Maybe you walk the hand forward. And then bringing the palm of the right hand back under the shoulder if it moved. On the inhale, left arm lifts. And exhale, left hand meets the right. Coming back into table. And tuck all 10 toes under, press into the palms, dome the back. See if you can lift the knees to hover off the mat for five, four, three, two, and one. Hips to the heels, downward facing dog. Maybe you elongate your stance. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, stepping or floating feet to meet your hands, coming into your forward fold. And from here, interlacing your hands behind your back, rotating your shoulders up, back, and down. Keep the hands interlaced, press your fist towards the ceiling. And then from here, draw your fist to the right, and gaze over the left shoulder. And coming back through center, fist to the left, gaze over the right shoulder. And releasing back through center, keep the bind, inhale, halfway lift, shift the weight into the toes. And then exhale, rise all the way up, drawing your chest forward, lifting the fist, shoulder blades to come together. And taking an inhale, exhale, letting go of the hands. And then keeping the right foot at the top of the mat or turning whichever way it allows you to see me, lifting the left knee and take a big step out, setting up for goddess pose. So left toes turn out to 10 o'clock, right toes turn to two. And you can start with hands on the hips, take an inhale, exhale, sink, letting the knees open, right? So the knees are tracking over the second or third toe. If you notice that they're caving in, you can always shorten your stance. And then bringing the arms to goal post, maybe you sink a little bit lower. And the option to stay here, maybe you lift up to your tiptoes, holding for five, four, three, two, and one, lower the heels, sink a little bit lower as you inhale. Exhale, star pose, straighten the legs, straighten the arms, chest is forward. And take another inhale and exhale. 
hands to the hips, turn your feet to parallel, draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Inhale, chest and gaze lift. Exhale, hinge at your hips, folding forward. And then pressing the right palm on the mat directly under your face. As you press into the right palm, you'll notice you kind of initiate a twist, right? So let your body do that. And then the left arm lifts, gaze follows. Maybe you stay right here. Maybe you bring the left arm behind your back to catch your right thigh. Maybe you bring your right tricep to your left thigh and kind of use that engagement to keep rotating over to the left, opening up through the shoulders. Let's take another inhale and exhale. And releasing the right hand back on the mat, inhale the left arm lifts. Then exhale, bring the left hand under your face. Setting up for the second side, press into the palm of the left hand. Right arm peels open, initiating the twist over to the right. And just noticing if one side feels different. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you bring the right arm behind your back. Maybe you bring your left tricep to your right thigh. And gaze over the right shoulder. And let's take another inhale and exhale. And bringing the left hand back onto the mat, inhale, the right arm lifts. Exhale, fold. An option to work this forward fold with the fingers walking in line with the toes, or maybe piece fingers catch big toes. Letting the elbows splay out and keep shifting the weight forward and down. And let's take another inhale and exhale. Releasing the bind if you have it, hands come to your hips, elbows squeeze together behind your back. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, rise all the way up. And then coming out the same way we came in, turning your right foot back to warrior two stance, really pressing into the right big toe as you inhale, exhale, big step up, left foot meets the right at the top of your mat. And setting up for camper pose, I'll demo facing forward, but you're welcome to do it at the top of the mat just so you can see me better. And so the weight is in the left foot, hugging your right knee in, right ankle crosses over your left thigh, sending your hips back. And hands can stay right at heart center, or as you send your hips back, maybe you start to lower your forearms towards your right thigh. This is a lot of work, so maybe you stay right here. If you'd like to work it a little bit deeper, just like we did in chair pose, maybe you cross your right tricep to hook into the arch of your right foot. And then option to stay here, so there is an arm balance if you want to play there. Make sure that the right foot is on the right tricep. You're really pressing the foot onto the tricep, shifting the weight forward, and straightening the left leg. Gaze is over to the right. Totally extra, right? And let's take another inhale and exhale. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, really press up on the left foot, hug your right knee into your chest, and then bring your right foot to meet the left. And just kind of shift the hip side to side, easing out of the left hip. And coming back to center goal post, your arms coming through a few rounds of cactus twists. Let's take an inhale, exhale, rotate to the right. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right, one more each side. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, draw your elbows towards your side and gently releasing your arms. Really nice, setting up for the second side. And so the weight is in your right foot, camper pose, I'm hugging the left foot in, crossing the left ankle over the right thigh. All right, and one side might feel quite different than the other in terms of stability. That's quite normal. Maybe you stay here, maybe you work into the progressions. I'm gonna stop here on this side. All right, so maybe you hook your left tricep in the arch of the left foot. Just a deeper twist. Maybe you go for that arm balance. And taking another round of breath. 
And then coming back to center as you inhale, press into the right big toe. Exhale, lifting up, hug your left knee into your chest. And then release the left foot to meet your right. Inhale, arms rise. And then exhale, hinge at your hips to fold forward. And from your forward fold, take a nice deep bend in the left leg. Keep the right leg straight, pressing into the palm of your left hand. Right hand comes. Pressing to the palm of the right hand, nope, left hand, right hand comes to your right hip. So the right leg is straight, the left knee is bent. You're kind of hiking the right hip up here, shifting the weight forward, stretching to the outer right hip. Let's take another inhale and exhale, and straightening the left leg. Right hand comes onto the mat, bending the right knee, left leg is straight, left hand to the left hip. Right, and the weight is still shifting forward. I'm taking another inhale and exhale. I'm straightening the right leg, left hand meets the right. Inhale, lifting the gaze. Exhale, stepping or floating back through your vinyasa. Inhaling, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And three full rounds of open mouth exhales from here. One more, just like that. And gently releasing into your wide-legged child's pose, hips to your heels. And calling into your mind the intention that you set at the beginning of practice and thanking yourself for showing up and for taking this time for you. And walking both hands to the upper right corner of the mat and sending your hips to the left, really puffing out the left side body to the left side of the mat. Shoulders stay squared down. And then walking the hands and the hips through center, hands to the upper left corner of the mat, hips to the right. Really breathing the right side body over to the right corner of the mat. And try to keep both shoulders squared to your mat. And taking another inhale and exhale. And walking your hands and your hips back to center. And then walking your hands back to meet your knees, drawing the knees to touch. And then from here, shifting the weight over to the right side and swinging your legs out in front. All right, so legs are nice and straight. And coming into a little bit of hip flexor work from here. Hands are under your shoulders, pressing into the palms of the hands, sitting up nice and tall. And then without leaning back on the inhale, lift the right leg as high as you can, pointing your toes. Exhale, lower. It's harder than it looks. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, lower. Two more each side. Inhale, lift the right. And exhale, lower. Inhale, left. Exhale, lower. Last one each side. Inhale, right. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left. Exhale, lower. And walking your hands behind your back about four or five inches, pressing to the palms, drawing your chest forward for a hammock pose. And if you're opting out of back bends tonight, you're welcome to stay here. Otherwise, we'll take two rounds of back bends from here. Reverse table, bringing the soles of the feet onto the mat, rooting into the heels. Inhale, lifting the hips. Exhale, head and neck release back. So you're really squeezing the inner thighs towards each other, engaging the glutes, the hamstrings, keep lifting. And let's take another inhale and exhale. And chin tucks into your chest and gently lower back down. And just pausing for a moment, deciding which, if you'd like to take either one of those two variations for the next round or reverse plank. And if you're taking reverse plank, straightening the legs out onto the mat, and you're pressing into the palms as you inhale, lifting up, maybe your toes touch down. Exhale, head and neck release back. And really opening up to the front side body. And taking another inhale and exhale. And chin to your chest and gently lower down. 
And walking your hands forward. And so keeping your spine nice and straight, start to walk your hands forward and you're tractioning the palms or your pinky fingers onto the mat to help draw the chest towards your toes. And then when you keep the spine straight, it really isolates the sensation in the spot in the hamstrings here. And let's take another inhale and exhale. And then bringing the arms by your side, palms face up, really pressing to the forearms, doming the back, chin to chest, and letting the top of the head release towards the knees. And so with the change in the spine, working into the lower back and the top of the back of the neck. And with these longer holds, trying to work deeper into the sensation instead of eliminating it. And so as you inhale, feeling the lower back expand. As you exhale, maybe you can reach the top of your head to your knees just a little bit more. Keeping the chin tucked into your chest, slowly rolling up. And we'll come into deer pose. And so bending the right knee, bringing the sole of the right foot behind the back. You're bringing the sole of the left foot to touch your right thigh. Just taking a moment to settle in. You'll notice that you're opening up through the right hip flexor in the quad. The right hip might be releasing towards the left knee. And on your inhale, arms rise. Exhale, twist over to the left and gazes over your left shoulder. As you inhale, maybe you sit up a little bit taller. As you exhale, maybe you twist a little bit deeper. Option to stay here. If you'd like to incorporate a neck stretch, bringing your head back to center then releasing the right ear towards the right shoulder. An option to stay here, or maybe you tuck your chin towards your left shoulder, changing the stretch more towards the back of your neck. And taking another inhale and exhale, gently lifting your head, bringing it back to center, walking your hands forward, right hand to your right thigh, kind of pick the right leg up and loosely cross your right ankle in front of your left, setting up for oyster pose. And so keeping your sits bones rooted down on the mat, try to keep the spine straight as you walk your hands forward, getting the stretch through the lower uh, right hip, maybe into the piriformis, the lower back. And taking another inhale and exhale and walking your hands back in this time keeping the right foot in front left knee bends bringing the left foot behind your back and so the left foot is right inside your right thigh and kind of sending the left hip over towards the right knee so opening up the hip flexor in the quad inhale arms rise exhale twisting over to the right gaze is over the right shoulder
You have the option to stay here or to incorporate the next stretch, bringing your head back to center and releasing the left ear towards the left shoulder. And option to stay here or tucking your chin in towards the right shoulder. And gently lifting your head, coming back to center, left hand to the left thigh, picking the left leg up, loosely crossing the left ankle in front of the right. And again, keeping the sit bones rooted down, walking your hands forward. Nice straight spine. And keep sending the hips back in space. And let's take another round of breath and then walking your hands back in and placing the soles of your feet hips width distance to come to the top half of your mat. If you're not yet there, we're going to do a few rounds of roll ups. So arms are by your side, tuck the lower back under. See if you can keep your toes down the whole time. So we're going to take an inhale and an eight count exhale to lower. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, lower two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take a full round of breath, reset, and then we're gonna do the same thing, eight count rolling up. Here we go, inhale, exhale, chin to chest, dome the back, two, three, four, five. It probably feels really sticky, six, seven, and eight. One more full round, here we go, inhale, exhale, lower, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Last time up, here we go. Inhale, exhale, lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And last time down, inhale, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, hug your knees into your chest. Really nice, full sacrum circle in each direction, releasing the lower back. And then gently switching sides. And then hugging the knees back into your chest, drawing the left knee towards the left shoulder, and the right knee to the right for happy baby. Flex the feet to the ceiling and either catching your big toes or the outer edges of your feet. Maybe you sway side to side if that feels good. I'm gently drawing the knees back together, setting up for legs up the wall. Arms are by the side, palms face down, lower back is rooted on the mat, shoulders are rooted down. And if you have a wall nearby, you're welcome to use it. Maybe you close your eyes and just resting upside down for a few rounds of breath. Gently fluttering the eyes open if you've closed them. And keeping the lower back on the mat by keeping the core slightly engaged, shoulder blades are rooted down. We're gonna take an inhale and an eight count exhale to lower the legs. All right, inhaling, exhale, lower two, 
three, four, five, six, heels are hovering, seven, and eight, heels touch down, putting your toes, coming to fish pose. Palms of the hands are just under the sits bones, pressing to the forearms, chest is lifted. And take an inhale, exhale, head and neck release back. And three full rounds of open mouth exhales. And gently tucking your chin into your chest, and lowering back down, and hugging your knees in, and setting up for our supine twist. We've done a fair amount of twisting today, so you're welcome to take eagle legs. And so if you're taking eagle legs, maybe you're crossing the right knee over the left, and goal posting the arms, we'll take an inhale, exhale, knees release to the left, and gaze is over the right. And if you took eagle legs and it feels like a bit too much, you can always unwind the legs, stacking them together. Gently lifting your head back up, unwinding the legs, and lifting the right knee and the left, and pausing to reset the spine for a moment, and using the hip flexors to hug the knees in, take an inhale, and exhale, knees to the right, and gaze over the left shoulder. Maybe, oop, if you've taken eagle legs, it's the left knee over the right, inhaling, and then exhale, twisting over to the right. And just because you've taken it on one side doesn't mean you have to take it on the other. Gently unwinding the legs, bringing your head back to center and hugging your knees into your chest, giving yourself a tight squeeze and set up for Shavasana. And so arms draw the knees in. As you inhale, maybe your shoulders neck and head lift off the mat. And then exhale, letting everything go and taking up as much space as possible. And letting the body and the mind feel the full benefit of this practice.
And slowly starting to come back into the space. Maybe wiggling fingers and toes, rolling wrists and ankles. Maybe reaching your arms overhead, giving yourself a full body stretch. You can also catch opposite elbows. And then gently releasing the arms and you're welcome to keep your eyes closed for the rest of practice. And as you gently roll over onto the right side and pausing in the seat of full potential and with little effort, making your way into a comfortable seated posture at the top of the mat, and really rooting the sits bones down and palms face down on your knees, drawing your chest forward. Inhale, shoulders to the ears. And then exhale, releasing them down the back and getting nice and long through the spine, through the back of the neck. And even with closed eyes, the gaze is slightly forward and down. And then gently bringing the palms to touch at heart center. In this moment of stillness, calling to your mind the quality about yourself that you really value, and completing this sentence and saying it to yourself three times I am. And together we'll seal this practice with an inhale and an open mouth, exhale. Thank you. And thank you so much for joining tonight. I'm looking forward to seeing you next Tuesday, 6 to 7 p.m. And of course the video will be available on the World Bank YouTube channel if you'd like to practice um, again throughout the week. Have a great rest of your night. Take care.